Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Welcome to Scrambled Brains Wordscast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm Nikki Powell. I'm Will Runyon Jr. And this is episode 117. Fresh back from a road trip. Yeah, a good, good time. Yeah, everybody yeah. made their '90s CD. We, we yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, Will brought his '90s CD. No, collection. yeah. Let's. <laughs> okay, yeah. I had this nice thought out CD paced correctly, and Will bought brought a bag of CDs. <laughs> well, I thought it was more authentic. Yeah, uh, it would have felt better if he had one of those big books where it was the pages. Yeah, and he flipped through it. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think it's more ghetto what he did. He just like <laughs> he just more like ghetto. stuck. He just opened up a bag on his CD shelf and just threw them in there. Yeah, no, no, I carefully picked them and then threw them. In and there. then like mine were just... even like I went and found ones that I didn't own. So these are songs yeah. I loved, but I did not have before this road. Apparently, trip. didn't love enough to buy. No, apparently not. Or still no, no. Well, no I, just, <laughs> right. there was, I love so much music back then. It was more not oh, a matter of just forgetting your money. Yeah. It was money. I needed more money to buy more CDs. And that was the thing. I mean, a lot of what we played was songs you just completely forgot about. They were mm-hmm. great songs. Yeah. You just some that I never heard before. So there you go. You most of the ones you played, I had never heard before. There were some. <laughs> My little bedroom. There were some. Was that, that, that that fly, oh, yeah. the flaming lips, I'd heard before. <laughs> right. Well, actually, I don't know if I'd heard that one, but I knew it was somebody I knew. Right, that wasn't the hit from that album, but but it's a, it's a and, and Primus. I knew yep. the Primus when you played Primus. Yeah, but he, he so. uh, Nick also had Primus too. So. Right, I had no. You Primus. did Wynon, Wynon oh, big that's right. Wynonna's that's right. big brown beaver. Well, no death so far, so it's been a well, good week. Well, that's good. Um, poor, poor Bret Hart though. Wait, wait. When did this happen? What? What happened? Joe Kubert died. Yeah, I whoa, saw that, whoa, whoa, but he died, now? I thought... Dies at 85. The article, though, is like several years old. Yeah, August 13th. <laughs> okay, so fi- yeah, yeah. who maybe posted maybe that? Years, From gone. what year, though? 2012. It's See, though, yeah. a lot of ago. people's reposting that crap. You really got to look. Right. Yeah, yeah I looked say. at it. I was going gonna... to say, isn't he dead? His yeah. kids are still alive, but he's Yeah, not. Joe was what Adam I... and... Uh, Andy? Yeah, Adam and Andy. Adam yep. and Andy. Always with the alliteration, these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it would have been Kyle and Kevin Cuber. Oh, it, It's getting to yeah, the point where... How do you where, say that? Cuber. Yeah, what is it with a... Is it different if it's a vowel instead of a consonant? I is don't it still know. alliteration? I think everyone just says Kubert. Kubert? Kubert. Like, but, the, like the little guy. Boing, 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 boing. But, uh... Yeah. Everyone's... Even being assholes, it's like you'll scroll through and you'll see a picture of an old actor. You're like, holy shit. One had a uh, Stan Lee. It was like 19-whatever to 2016. At the bombs, it's still alive. <laughs> you're like, screw you. <laughs> oh, crap. Give me a heart attack. Trolling the Facebook feed. But uh, Bret Hart has uh, cancer, has pro- prostate cancer. Oh. So... And this poor guy, he's had a stroke, he's had both knees operated on, he's had an elbow operated is, on, a wrist fused. My theory is he got fucked so bad in Montreal <laughs> it gave him ass cancer. Just now showing, no, that probably gave him hemorrhoids. I don't know about ass cancer. <laughs> That's how bad he got fucked in Montreal. What happened yeah. in Montreal? Oh, they, okay. Mm. At the time, this was during I the- I graphic the, details. The, that was the Monday night, was this Monday Night Wars already? Yeah. Okay, where WCW and that's WWE what it was, about. was, or WWF as it was known at the time, was kind of like arguing over talent. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ted Turner owned WCW, could pretty much pay anybody anything they wanted. Well, a few months ago, the women's champion from WWF went over to WCW and took the women's title with her and on live TV threw it in the trash. <laughs> well, when was this? This was 90. Five ninety six. Mm, it's in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So WWF was still around. Yeah, they were still. W- yeah, they didn't turn WWE until like two thousands, wasn't That's, it? That was my. I was confused. Because yeah, I no, they'd been, because they did the whole attitude era. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, so that so well, she threw away the belt. Well, she threw away she, the belt. Well, yeah. they were trying to get Bret Hart. Disrespect. And so Bret Hart was like, "I always wanted to stay, but Vince couldn't match the money that Ted Turner was throwing my way." So we can't know I was going to leave. Well, he was the champ at the time. Mm-hmm. And 
he's you know I don't know if he wanted to drop the belt. I didn't know if he wanted to go out on top or whatever. I, don't know. I think he wanted to go out on top. top. But what happens is during his last match, which he's supposed to win, because, you know, as he all scripted, hate to, you know, spoilers, guys, I hate to break oh this to you. God. But anyway. So bit off his ear. But anyway, Shawn Michaels, <laughs> didn't Shawn Michaels get him in a sharpshooter? I don't he, remember what happened, but I do. But he gets him in like a submission hold, and Vince McMahon runs over and makes the bell guy ring the bell, hmm. saying he tapped out. But he didn't. He tapped out, it's over. And and Bret Hart's like, what the hell just happened? Hmm. And he even spit at him. I mean, you're thinking, oh, this is oh, cool. There's no, even... he spit on. And I guess they went in the back and, he and punched Brett, him. Oh, he cold cocked his ass. <laughs> there's, I've seen the behind. The, it's called Wrestling with Shadows yeah. with, about Bret Hart. And they, they had film crews because they were doing a documentary on Bret Hart at the time when this happened. Yeah. And he goes, Vince McMahon goes in there to talk to Bret Hart. And he comes out and he's like holding his eye. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Bret Hart punched him right in the fucking face. Oh, yeah. Mm. And he popped him. And he left for WCW, and that's it's known as the Montreal screw job. Because not mm-hmm. only did he lose it in his hometown, but he got fucked. I, he didn't. It might. He was willing. I think he was willing to drop the belt, just not in Montreal. Yeah, he didn't want to do it in. And Canada. Vince was so worried that he was going to take off and take the belt with him and that do the he, same they thing. Him over. Yeah, that they fucked him huh. over. I think that's what it was. And then in the last what ten years, they've they've recon. I mean, him and Sean. Yeah, and they've Vince got they've uh, they've made up reconciled. because he's got he's under a legends contract. Yeah, now. he's been on WWE for quite a while now. So, but this poor guy had a stroke. Both knees blow, <laughs> elbow. I mean, yeah, didn't something happen with him and? Goldberg, Goldberg did something. Oh, and who knows? Speared him. It, it, something happened. Yeah, but at least this, I'll, I'll give wrestlers their due. Mm-hmm. These and some of these guys are are you know these older guys. They can't move. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're just so beat up and joints are wrecked and all this. But none of them go. Well, we're going to sue WWE because we didn't know this was going to happen. It's like the NFL or boxing. It's like, I got punched in the face a hundred times a no, night. They knew How was they I getting... supposed to know I was going to get brain damage? Right. You know, I, I had a 300-something pound man, you know, railroad me, you know, run over me. No, right. they know. Like, it's, it's, yeah. In wrestling, they don't do that. They, they they take it as part of it's. Yeah. It's, that's what you get to be, you know. That's, that's what yeah, it, that's, that's what, what comes with through. the territory, basically, you know. Basically, but, uh, uh, basically. It was big a few years ago, wasn't it? All the old NFL players was trying to sue the NFL. Saying, oh, it's big right now. They just yeah. there's that movie oh that movie that just came out. And yeah, concussion. It's, it yeah, it's a it's a topic of conversation that yeah, it's still going on. But that, yeah, uh, that's, that's uh, Will take, Smith didn't like, win an Oscar for. It's not it really a mystery. That's why he's about repeated it. blows to the head cause yeah know, damage. You know, <laughs> but I guess what the? I don't know. I guess the uh, yeah the issue is You're I guess back in not the day they didn't know that. Well, it's the same thing. It's like, well, how how was they supposed to know smoking was bad for you? Well, what do you think usually kills you in a house fire? (laughs) (laughs) Smoke, but what? I I I just saw this. It's I. It's completely irrelevant to the conversation. But I was scrolling through the Facebooks, and it says, "I like my coffee like I like my women, big ass titties." (laughs) (laughs) It's it's usually strong and black. (laughs) But (laughs) it makes no sense. But it's so funny. (laughs) Who's, was that somebody posted that, or is that like a, a cartoon? Or a little it's comic? like a little cartoon somebody posted. Uh, it, yeah, it's not like somebody's uh, no like, status. Uh, I'm sorry, but that was funny. All right, okay. go back. Whatever yeah. we were talking Real about. Real quick, what, what's the uh, actor that plays Professor X now in the newer movies? It's uh, um, oh, fuck James McCoy? McAvoy. 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 There is a picture of, uh, of uh, Patrick Stewart. At a Comic Con, it says the best part about the, this movie has been uh, the best part about this movie has been for me knowing that in an earlier time in my life I looked like James McAvoy. Mm-hmm. It should be McAvoy going up there and going. The best part about this movie I is I'm gonna look, like look like Patrick Stewart. Stewart. Yeah, that fucker don't age. I know, right? It must be something about like we were talking about Mitch Pileggi, how like mm-hmm. how he doesn't age. It must be something about you want to go bald because if you go bald young, Apparently, then you yeah. don't age. <laughs> oh, someone did die. Um, oh, yeah. wow. But it was, oh, God. Uh, Maybe that's the key. I'll have to scroll. Like all that protein that is like coming out in your hair. Maybe. Is your life force. <laughs> if you yeah, if you got so hair in a beard, yeah. you're screwed, you know. Oh, uh, uh, Abe Vigoda. Vig- oh, I can't remember. Abe, uh, Abe Vigoda. Barney Miller's fish. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Vigoda. Also the guy, yeah. Passed away. Yeah, I believe his first role was right. in The Godfather. He was already like. Well, here's the thing. 
the and I hate to say it's hilarious, but last about a week before he died, they said this is Abe Vigoda. He's ninety four. This fucker will outlive us all. <laughs> and the next week he you, passes. You know what's hilarious? If you went to his official site up till recently, all it said is Abe Vigoda is still alive. alive. <laughs> what's it say now? It says Abe Vigoda is dead. Now, okay. very rarely does movies. Not only do you know they're trying to make money, they're trying to entertain, but they they have a message. Yeah. Deadpool is promoting cancer awareness. Yeah. Have you seen these clips? Yes, I've seen some of these clips. Okay, where it, it's touch yourself. Mm-hmm. Which it, is touch yourself? I'm touching he's, myself uh, right now. Basically, that's uh, remember when Tom Green did that back in the nineties? Oh yeah, yeah he, he had he testicular had cancer. cancer. Yeah, right. then he like film it, them checking him out or something. Yeah, I or, think so. They did a whole segment on there, it. There's yeah, one, like a special. There's one for the men and, and one for the ladies, mm-hmm. where he tells them, you know, he plays the more or less the school, how to check for breast cancer. Oh, so I, yeah. I've never seen that one. So hey, it's nice to know they're doing something, you know, positive with this movie because it's they're already saying it was. They don't really need to do. They anything. said they almost couldn't get an R. It was so damn raunchy <laughs> <laughs> that they had they had to cut. And cut and I I. Uh, so, I can't wait for this. But apparently there is, someone said the director's cut's just horrible. <laughs> so hopefully there will be a director's cut, and we'll get a whole lot. Uh, real quick, Arrow News. Steve uh, Amell to guest star in Legends of Tomorrow as the 2046 Green Arrow. Now see, when you first when I first heard about this, I'm like, holy shit, he's going to play his own grandson. And then I'm like... 2046 is only 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's going to be like 50 or 60. <laughs> yeah. But he right. has released that he... See, he's he's been dead set against growing the goatee. Yeah. He's just been, no, no, you know, it looks... You know, I look... He goes, I tried it. I tried to do it. And I look like a like a serial stalker or you know, pedophile or something. He goes, no. But he said in this, he will have his goatee and he will have one arm. Like the Dark Knight Returns arrow. So, so. Is, are we to be led to believe that at some point Superman well, if, took his arm? If Well, if we and see... And also, is Superman v. Batman, or Batman v. Superman, whatever, is that set in 2047? Is that... 46? No. But here's the deal. This will reference, I mean, loosely because of what he looks like, will reference uh, the Dark Knight Returns. Mm-hmm. We've seen clips where uh, Captain Cold's looking at, it looks like Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Yeah. So they're they're trying well, have to you set heard it up. This, this uh, there is a rumor, but it's already got shot down. But they were they went. And Tom Wellington is gonna was gonna be Superman. Oh yeah, so on, the guy, uh, from Smallville on oh, Supergirl. Yeah. He was gonna show up as Superman. Hmm. Well, they did have a Superman show up. I think on the first, it was like he was. But in you couldn't see. Him. But you don't know yeah, who he the is. The sun right. was behind him. But they, they were talking about bringing times. him, and he's like basically they talk. They ask him. He's like, "Well, is there any truth to this?" And he's like, "Well, I don't know, nobody's called me." But that's what they always fucking say. Yeah. And then they show up. You know. Yeah. They always say like, "No, nobody called me," but then you know, two weeks later when it's officially announced. Yeah. I didn't know. It's so uh, I I would like that because I actually want there to be a TV Justice League and a movie Justice League, but that's just yeah, me. That'd be great because I think the TV Justice League would be better. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's a, a link within the link, but we do have a link to a story where you a can get literal link. literal uh, breastplate will give you cosplay ready anime breast. Oh, I've oh, seen yeah. this. So yeah. good idea. I think. <laughs> and so I, when you're 15 and <laughs> 102 pounds, you can have huge knockers <laughs> like the 15-year-old 102-pound anime uh, girls have. Or the, it'll just be huge for the transgender crowd. I don't I know. Guess. Man, but I guess. But I want a pair just to wear around the house. <laughs> <laughs> Come bounce and bounce and bounce. <laughs> Wee, I get to play with they, them. They look weighted. I they don't, look yeah. like they're pretty... So. I, I I really don't I don't want a pair, so that's me. That's fine. I'm fine. Oh, fine. Be that way. I mean, if you want a pair, that's your prerogative. But that's amazing. You guys got anything? Oh, uh, Legends of Tomorrow news. They are hinting for a now. Get that as vague as it is for let's say what they can use in Flash and Arrow. And Supergirl and the movies, like they don't want them to use this, but they can use that. There has been a red tornado on Supergirl. Yeah. They are hinting at Our Man ah. and Red Tornado, the Ma Hinkle Red Tornado, 
In the thirties, so, it was it was an old woman in like uh, long johns with a wait, with wait, a wait, pot wait. on her head. <laughs> so we're not having right, a cross. So when I read this, I thought this was a crossover no. with the red tornado that was in. No, Supergirl. no, this is Ma Hinkle. That's stupid. <laughs> Oh, okay. let's Wait, see. What? No, if they can, cool. if they can pull you off. Shut up! Hinkle. That ain't cool. Now I'm excited about Our Man. Our Man's fine. I don't know how, who Our Man is, but I like this old lady in pajamas. I think that's funny. What? The, <laughs> no. What? Yeah. No. no fucking no. No. Is that? I, I want the real Red Tornado. She was um, the real. She's the original mm, Red Tornado. Right. Well, yeah. Watch Super Golden Girl. Age. If you want the no. other, other Red Tornado. <laughs> That's like saying that that fucker that ran around on a horse was the real Ghost Rider. Well, he was. He was. That is not the real Ghost Rider. He, he, see, he, was, a, he was the original Ghost Rider. I don't care Rider. if he came first. Now, let me rephrase that. He wasn't a. He wasn't possessed. No. He was, he was just a guy whose name was, and they called him the Phantom Rider later, so they wouldn't have to. Because All they were right. like, hey, guys, okay. I know he came first, but this ain't fucking Ghost Rider. <laughs> By that but, logic. I am now switching my official Spider-Man <laughs> to Miles Morales. You no, see no. He's my new. No. He's the new real. Because who cares? Man. Who cares? Because oh, did you get? You didn't get nine, did you? Secret Wars. No. Do you know what? Okay, real quick, because we we've questioned this. I Why did. is Morales in the new universe? Because he gave Gable Molecule Man, Man a hamburger. Sand. That's what I heard. He, and he said, "Kid, I owe you one." And when they restructured the universe, he made sure that Miles Morales. So they was killed in. an entire other universe. Molecule yeah. Man could have saved them all, but he didn't. He just well, saved no, one. no. At the end of Secret Wars, they're creating new universes. Mm -hmm. So odds now, are this, there's still a multiverse out there. Is this how Peter got Parker Industries? I. I guess I'm. I'm sure that because they have never once explained it. I'm on issue six, and I don't know how he became. Because last thing we saw, Parker Industries, it was a small startup company competing with Horizon Labs. Yeah. That then the ghost blew up, and that was it. And, and then whenever it starts over again, it is a multi-million dollar company right. that has bought the motherfucking Baxter <laughs> Building. I. Well, there you go. I, uh, but how did that happen? Well, there's got to be a backstory in there somehow. But there it, isn't so far to get to get Will up on our man. Okay, uh, Rex Taylor, nineteen. Oh, I forgot to take. I've been that's okay. Been taking notes. What uh, are late thirties, no, early forties. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow devises a pill. <laughs> um, well, okay. Remember Arrow, and it Arrow. was uh, what they call the the drug from Arrow that the Deathstroke took. Uh, Mercuru. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, true. it's kind of it's called Mariclo. Hmm. Is the pill cuz that's what I think I think he in the in this he'll get a hold of that or something. But it's a pill that when he takes it, he has superpowers, strength, speed and vulnerability for 1 hour. Hmm. Oh, okay. And then once that hour is up, you know, he can't take one for 24 hours or something like that. Right. So he's the man of the hour. 60 well, times more effective than Minuteman. <laughs> well, exactly. Which, of course, thanks to Robot Chicken, it's like, well, be the man four of... Four times less effective than Day Man. <laughs> yeah. uh, shall we go on? But, but on Robot Chicken, it was, uh, they made it a, uh, a an erection pill. Yeah. For, it's like, be the man of the hour, like me, yeah. our man. Yeah. <laughs> the man. The man with the power, you know. But uh, power it turns out. out to be extremely addictive. Uh -huh. And it changes his personality, you know. It, well, it uh, is steroids, come on. Yeah, it's it's yeah. yeah, it's the pill form of the super soldier serum with horrible side effects. So he ends up giving it up in the 60s, but later, you know, refines it to where it's not as addictive and doesn't screw with your head as much. But he can't but make he it does last have, longer because... But he, he does have, like, man. Superman strength and invulnerability and whatnot for one hour. So... He shouldn't call himself Our Man. He should call himself Forever Man. <laughs> I take this pill, and I am invulnerable and super strong well, forever. Right. You might as well just give up. <laughs> they just... <laughs> it, it, if, well, it's like, like, why don't they call Superman weakness to kryptonite, man? <laughs> because if you call yourself our man, you'd be like, listen, we just keep this fucker busy for an hour. Just If we can run away from him for an hour. Well, right? that's the thing. He's Come usually. On, guys, slow down. <laughs> then, I only got like 15 minutes. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, shit. Punch, punch. <laughs> just pile on him. No, the great right. thing is when his son takes over later, he actually has it in a gauntlet where he like, hit, almost like Venom where he hits the button. Mm-hmm. But it's got a timer on it, <laughs> so he never runs out. He knows when it's mm. up. But no, uh, they reconned it a bit to where uh, this was the basis of Venom. 
Oh, for he, Bane? Yeah, he worked at a, a Not chemical... Not Venom, the Spider-Man. Yeah, for Bane. Yeah. Uh, he worked at a chemical plant and started to get ideas for this, wrote them down, and when he left, he left some notes behind. And oh. they took. They went from there and made so Venom. So that's how Poison Ivy got her hands on it in that yeah. movie. Yeah. Well, that's because that was... Uh, that was terrible. Oh, God, what was... Oh, Woodrow. Oh, Woodrow. Oh, what was... Uh, yeah, I don't know. He died crazy. so early in that movie. Well, it was Lex Luthor, or uh, he was uh, Lex Luthor's dad in Smallville, the same actor. It is. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a new show on Sci-Fi in called The movie? Magicians. I didn't know that. Yeah, the trailer looked pretty interesting. It, it, we watched two episodes last night. It was pretty interesting. What, the, is it, what is this we're talking about? It's called The Magicians. It's almost like a darker Harry Potter. And I didn't see that. I didn't hear about this at all. And it's but the thing is, there's uh, the dean of the school. I'll have to show you a clip. Bugged Save. me all night long because I know his voice, hmm. and I swear he's done voice acting, but I can't. I I'd looked up his. I looked him up, and it doesn't say anything about voice acting. Does he sound like Optimus Prime? No, no, I would know Peter Cullen. <laughs> yeah, that'd be. Yeah, that's Peter. Does, Cullen. He, does he sound like the Joker from the Batman? That's Mark Hamill. That's Mark Hamill now. Does he sound like Bender? That's um. Ah, fuck. We no, should know uh, the dog name. from uh, so Adventure, yeah, Adventure Time. Adventure Time. What is his name? That's not Billy West, is it? Oh, God. No, no Billy oh, West is... He's the other one. Yeah, it's Fry. <laughs> uh, fuck. It's uh, Don... Uh, Jake. Uh, it, Jake's the dog. DiMaggio. John, yeah, uh, Joe Dima DiMaggio. Not John. Joe DiMaggio. John DiMaggio. John DiMaggio. John DiMaggio. Yeah, 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 that's it. <laughs> oh. Not Joe DiMaggio. He's dead. Where did you go, Joe? <laughs> Here's another... T okay, apparently the Legends of Tomorrow is going back to the 40s. Robinson. They're going... What what's going on? Because now, oh, the Sandman. Oh, the Sandman, Sandman, the, yeah, original, the original Sandman. Oh, now see, I'm down with that. With Wesley, yeah, Wesley I don't need, yeah. I don't need Neil Gaiman Sandman, and that no, fit. no, or a guy who actually turns into sand. Well, like yeah, that, or that, or that'd be sand jumping. Sand. Uh, yeah. So they're. I wonder if they're going to do a whole Justice Society at the rate they're going. I would be fine with that. You know what? I wouldn't mind seeing a justice, uh, instead of Justice League. Let's do Justice Society. Society. Yeah. So like, we, yeah, maybe we that's got the Flash, well, the, the Green Arrow. As long Sandman, as long as they get the guy that's Alabama. playing Jay Garrick mm -hmm. to be Jay Garrick, like On the you know, justice Society. yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get Hawkman. Oh wait. <laughs> Hey, he can be he can be reincarnated. <laughs> yeah, okay, now just here's pick up another incarnation of him. We'll see. Now here's the difference, or a though. past version. Okay, of Okay, have you got yeah. to watch Since last week's Legends of Tomorrow? Yeah, yet. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I saw it. Okay, so Legends of Tomorrow last week, Hawkman dies. So mm -hmm. wait a minute. So does not does that jack up Vandal Savage? Because I'm I'm assuming that guy was not 40 years old. So there's another Hawkman out there that Vandal Savage is going to have to kill. Yeah, in so, his own timeline. In, in his own timeline, so that guy is reincarnated into the Hawkman that, that he, just killed. Did, he just killed. Oh, mm. shit, that's confusing. Yeah, so, yeah, with two Because this Hawkman is future Hawkman. Incarnate? incarnate? Uh, this yeah, is, in 75, there was two Hawkmen running around. Yeah. Yeah, there's another one. Well, maybe he well, would have uh, been really young. I don't know. Well, because, and when would the Hawkman that got killed reincarnate? Would he reincarnate I, back I mean, in 2016, well, see, I, or would he reincarnate in the year that he actually died? See, that's the question. So now is there two Hawkmen running around? Yeah, still. Or like because, a baby Hawkman. And, uh, yeah, it's like, what the... F I don't know. Or maybe Vandal Savage are... Well, no. Okay, so I guess, yeah, he hadn't yet killed the Hawkman and ha Hawk. Girl. Of that, of that era, era. Of that era. Yeah. but because, their yeah. son is still so, alive from their last incarnation, so we can that those guys are dead. So yeah, would they be, well, cause, cause what? That, when did they die? Vandal or uh, their son said he killed him when he was like ten years old. So that guy oh, had to be okay. in his sixty. Oh, so, well, yeah. he might have already killed him. Maybe it takes longer to reincarnate. Maybe it's not an instant. instant. You killed me tomorrow. Best, but I was going to say. It. But what my my I was like, but he didn't seem surprised to see them. Like, hey, I already killed you guys. Yeah, it's like, wait you know, a minute. There's no way time. you're that age already. Yeah. But I think it already figured out that they were time travelers. Okay, yeah. Maybe at that so. point, so well, they're they've yeah. reincarnated two hundred and seven times yeah. over. Okay. Five thousand years. Now, do you that, did you notice the little like that, loophole in that? Mm -hmm. It's like Hawkman. Mm -hmm. Carter Hall's like, 
We've been reincarnated 200 and something times. You're my love from, you know, way back when. Oh, I had a son 50 years ago. I don't remember that. <laughs> right. Like, wait right. a minute. Yeah, he has very similar. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> How do they not know that? <laughs> right. And also, she has an excuse. She hasn't regained all hers, but he's got all his. Right. And also that, the major subplot the, uh, about the, uh, the knife that he gave to her in the original incarnation, which he remembers <laughs> everything else about. But he's but, like. I but she remember, said it to uh, him, him but he couldn't remember it. A... Yeah, he didn't remember. She's like, oh, no, only the priest can read it. But she read it out loud to him. Now, real quick, do you remember, uh, did you catch who the professor was? Which professor? The, their son. Yeah. I, uh, well, no, I mean, is he someone other than their son? Well, we've seen him before. Yeah, no, he was the guy from on the that video crossover tape. The, from the videotape. Yeah, he was on the VHS tape that was joking. It's like, how'd they hook it up to a computer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, that was the that was like, the it's professor. A VHS. No one has a VHS. Don't worry, I'll compute it into the computer. <laughs> right. No one can watch. Kung slap, Fury slap, 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 slap. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, that. so, but Legends of Tomorrow still a good show. Yeah, it's a, a fire, I, I've, Firestorm I'm, got his outfit. Two episodes in. Yeah, two episodes in, looking decent. Um, Flash with the Reverse Flash made the one you never do. When you when you see someone that you know is a time traveler, you don't go, but you died. <laughs> it's like, oh, really? I did? Okay, well, now I know to fix that somehow. Right. Yeah, so. it didn't go the way I expected it to go where, you know, he, but yeah, he was already a villain when he showed up. Like, I thought he was going to kind of turn. I, I think they're going to do a river song on this. The next time we see him mm. will be before, you know, he's, yeah. he's going the wrong way in time. We're mm. like, the next time we see him. He hasn't done what he just did in this last episode, so he'll go, wait. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. So at some point, yeah, (laughs) at some point when he's going to actually, because he did reference the story I told you about where he comes back in time to meet the Flash. Right, he He says, I was obsessed with you. Yeah, I come back and found out I'm going to be your villain. Right. So instead of thinking I'll try to change that. But here's the thing is he knows he can keep coming back, and they can't. They always have to send him back. Yeah. Because if they keep him, if they capture him, Cisco dies. Right. Unless yeah. They figure out a way. I, I'm so sure they, they can always, out a he can come problem. back and do whatever. They can't kill him. No. Because if they kill him, then that shit doesn't happen. Yeah. And Cisco well, he dies. doesn't. Well, if yeah. they hold him there, that shit won't, won't happen, happen and Cisco dies. No. Here, here's the thing I caught, which I hate. What do I keep saying that I don't like about that they, they, they can't get over that it wasn't Harrison Wells? That it was Ebon Thawne. Yeah, they know yeah. it's Ebon Thawne. But yet they keep blaming Wells. It's did crazy. you did you notice when he's in the cell and Joe goes, Now can he, you know, not and they go, No, no, he can't phase out of that. That's the cell we that's the cell we held we Wells held Harrison and, Wells in last year. Yeah. That's not Wells. No, that's who you you kept that's him the same in, guy. You kept him in that cell he last year. He just looked like Wells, it's the same dude. So, I keep wanting to do the, what was it, it was uh, uh, I'm guessing Jay that, and Silent Bob strike back with Ben Affleck where he's like doing silent. Do you not understand, understand what I'm saying? He's like, you can't. Internet? What the fuck is the internet? <laughs> it's like, he was Harrison Wells. That yeah. was Ebon Thon the whole time. Actually, they might you know be what? doing that for the audience so they're not I confused. Know, but that's kind yeah. of an interesting, maybe that's what he should do. He should just come back into the past. Uh, without a, a way to get back and force them to have to figure out a way to send him back again. We'll see. Uh, or else Cisco dies. You know, that'd be a thing. It's like, and then he keeps like disrupting their their ability to send him back. But see, there's still a loophole no, in here say. somewhere because when he comes back and kills Barry's mom, he just loses the speed force. Hmm. It's like it's gone. Hmm. And yet he was able to come back to this time and run around for a whole episode and not lose anything. So what caused him to lose it the other time? Ah. So that's a... We're talking about Flash. Okay. Now, you told me this when I right. put, made my prediction that oh, Jay yep. Garrick was Professor, was Zoom. Zoom. Okay, so this guy that is the Jay Garrick of Earth-1, what was his name? Hunter Zuolaman. And who is he? In DC Comics, Hunter Zuolaman is Zoom. Fucking yeah! <laughs> so there is a... And I called that the week before that episode was on. Or it could be... I didn't hear it. It could be a Jay Garrick from an alternate reality. I, I think know. it's this Jay Garrick because he keeps going, going, the only way to get my speed back is to catch Zoom. It's all Zoom. We have to catch Zoom. We have to catch Zoom. It's all about catching Zoom. He's not willing to try anything because he knows nothing else is going to work because he knows he hasn't lost his speed. 
He has his speed. It's just he's got this weird, dumb, you know, alternate identity as Zoom. It somehow suppressed his speed. And if he can somehow defeat the evil version of himself, he'll get the speed back for his oh, good well. version of himself. But he's killed fuckers, so he needs to go away. Well, has he killed anybody? Zoom? I'm Not that sure we know had. of. Uh, well, that's he's he's kidnapped he Wells' his daughter. Time, yeah, he hasn't killed anybody, has he? He's he's knocked cops out and whatnot. But as far as we You're know, he hasn't. Thing even more. He because... hasn't killed anybody. He's stolen speed, hmm. but he hasn't killed anybody. Reverse Flash had no problem killing people. Oh yeah, Reverse Flash, you know, snap necks all day long. Yeah, Zoom's just so like scary and like. Yeah, he's just after Flash. Oh, this he is didn't. just push. No, it's just pushing my my so... theory even more because that's Jay Garrick holding him back. From actually killing people. Uh-huh. We'll have to see. Because he could have killed Barry. He, he could have killed have. Barry and took his speed force. But he's, he wants him to be faster so he can gorge more on him when he feeds off of him, I guess. But we'll yeah, see. Yeah, but are we sure that's what is happening? Well, that's we what Jay Garrick well, said. That's true. I, well, have we seen him go through any other universe and eat the speed of another speedster? No, we haven't. No, we so haven't. How so how do we work? know that's what he does? Because Jay Garrick told us that's what he does. But if Jay Garrick is Zoom, maybe that's not true because he didn't take Barry's speed. We'll see. And also the, the question would be, is he? Oh, because he literally ate his speed when he changed <laughs> personalities. <laughs> when he became Zoom, Zoom literally stole his speed to be Zoom. So he can't access he can't, it in one personality he, exactly. and he can't the other. He literally stole it. And see, that also, I mean, your theory is, that's also what I think they said that was it, uh, uh, Velocity 9. Mm-hmm. Remember the drug they made? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I said, wait, wait until it's like uh, Barry needs to use it and it has no effect whatsoever. Yeah. You know, Jay yeah, did it, and all of a sudden he had like his... I bet you that happens, and they don't understand. They can't understand why it didn't work on Barry, yeah, because Jay had his speed the because whole time. Because Jay had his speed the whole time. You know, he just needed the drug to convince him he could he access did, it. Yeah. yeah placebo. I bet... Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I know I'm right. I know I'm right. Well, we've only got... Uh, what was it? Was it 26 episodes per season? 24? It's 24 episodes per 24 season. 24 sounds right. So, yeah, what we got... What episode are we on? Uh, 11. Oh, well, we might get so, well, they We still got to go to they Earth They won't not reveal that until yeah. later on. Till the end. Maybe they'll separate them somehow. They'll, but uh, uh, Arrow was decent. Uh, it's like a the Sentry. Whole Remember Sentry from the Marvel Comics? Yeah. It's like that. I guarantee it's oh, like that. Oh, God. Sentry was a such a no stupid character yeah totally stupid character did you but, ever figure out did you ever hear what his what his actual powers was didn't he have some way to convince people that he or something okay real quick for for uh will now was this it, is sentry like a guard yes okay and this was it a was, marvel comics character. was it what 2001 2002 uh, was or was it night late 90s civil war yeah, so i think it was in the 2000s though it was early early 2000s what they did is they come out and said oh <gasps> Uh, Jack Kirby's wife was going through a trunk of his old stuff and actually found a sketch of a character that him and Stan Lee worked on hmm. before the Fantastic Four. Hmm. And they did this big, you know, it's like, oh, this this hero come back. And, and they put him in the Marvel Universe. It's like, oh, you don't remember this because he had to mind wipe everybody. And it was an April Fool's gag. Uh, okay. they, they, they just played us all for suckers. You know, they really played it up. Well, then it turns out he's his own worst enemy. He's a split personality, <laughs> and he had this this other this other uh, personality called the Void. And if if uh, if uh, the Century would uh, would would save two hundred people on a plane from going down in Mexico, there would be an earthquake that killed two hundred people. Mm. You know, he'd always balance it he'd out. Balance yeah, it, yeah. But he was like Superman. You know, he was Marvel Superman, and he could do anything. It seemed he could he I could stop a herald of Galactus I with one hand. Character. You know, well, it turns out he's like it turns out he's like Molecule Man. He just controls the reality within his Around vicinity. Him. Yeah, that's uh, why he seemed he was all powerful because he was jacking with everybody else in his vicinity. And he made people remember, like forget and remember him. Or? Yeah, he could. Yeah, he on a global. It was really weird. It was weird. It I was don't a, like it. I don't know why they, they did brought that. him back as a horseman of the apocalypse. Mm. And I don't know what they've done. I was with so him glad since. when he left. When uh, he what happened to him? Uh, the the void not. finally took over and Thor had to. They beat him down. Pretty much what would happen is they'd beat him to where he'd revert back to his human form, 
and then Thor just un- 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 released the you know the mystical lightning on him, mm. and 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 Thor. burn him to a cinder, and then put his body in the sun <laughs> to kill him off the rest of the way. Okay, good so, old Thor. But uh, love him. let's see. Um, they keep saying that uh, the uh, Batman v Superman and the Suicide Squad is just trouncing Marvel in social media. Maybe for X Men Apocalypse, not for Deadpool. I'm sorry. I don't know if I believe that. Oh, there was an early screening of Civil War. It is tracking higher than the Winter Soldier. Hmm. So, well, it's Avengers two point. I know, you know but two or whatever, people 2. are 5. very. They said they don't even know what they're going to do. They've scheduled reshoots, but they don't know what they're going to do because everything is working. <laughs> We've done it too well. We made too good a fucking movie. We've got to fuck something up so they don't expect this every I time. Cannot, I There's no way Batman v Superman is going to outdo no. a civil war. Yeah, it's, no. it's not going to happen. Um, good news for me. They, of course, we've talked about in Thor Ragnarok, the Hulk will be in it. Yes. They do say it's going to be a more intelligent Hulk. He's mm-hmm. going to be pretty much he's uh, Banner's been the Hulk for so long or stuck being the Hulk so long that it, the, the personalities start bleeding together. Uh, and they said there's not a Hulk movie on the way because of their contract oh, with Universal. With Universal yeah. But they said between Thor Ragnarok and an Infinity Gauntlet two and three or one and two, mm-hmm. it will almost be like a, a new Hulk movie. There's so much Hulk content nice. that it's going to be like a, another Hulk movie. See, I don't have to worry about so, that because Spider Man's getting his own movie as soon as they even moved it up. Well, like yeah. two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. But next year, so... And that's what I, t- I was also told you. I was like, it's not fair. I was like, your favorite hero is going to be in a movie and probably going to steal the show. No. And my favorite hero is going to be in a movie and probably steal the show. But neither one of them have their own... No, Marvel he'll just be... Them. He'll be in the mid-credit cut scene. Oh, that would be <laughs> off. <laughs> if that's all it is... No. Surely they, See, I was... If they had that. put him at the end of the credits of Age of Ultron... I would have, I could have bought that. Now, did you see the leaked footage? It turned out to be fake of him in costume. Yeah. Well, there is was a leaked one? footage where it looks like they're they're getting ready to film, and he's in front of a green screen. He's got his mask off, and he's like, "Do it, and <laughs> just uh, do it." The the one thing, the yeah. I I didn't know if it was fake or they, they've said it's fake, but the one thing about this costume that I said Matt's gonna love it. Right now, hands down, Matt's favorite Spider-Man costume of all time. Is it all metallic? Why? And, and, what, what, what would be the one missing element from all the Spider-Man costumes? They're web pits. He had, <laughs> he had web pits in this costume. And I said, Mas- uh, this, yeah, this is I, it. If they have that, like, almost tick-looking spider on the back yeah, and that web too. pits, I would have been like, it needs to look exactly like the Amazing Spider-Man 2 costume. Just with a different with emblem. web pits and that, that, dip, that spider on the back, back. And I'd be like, that's it. Stick with that. Don't and the change question it. is, did the guy just not know how to draw a spider or just <laughs> circle with, with the I don't way? know what that's about. <laughs> I don't know why that was there, but it's there, and it's been there for, you know, it's 50 always years been now. There, so. so, yeah, why change it? But, yeah, it was it's one of those Spider-Man designs you got to question, though. <laughs> uh, well, it's kind of like even the spider on the front doesn't look more like an ant yeah, than it, it does look a like spider. spider. <laughs> Well, Whatever, Peter Parker it's... was not an artist. He was that is a true. He was well, a there are webs on there. Correct, <laughs> There's webs. You can... That's supposed to tell you it's a spider. Yeah. I was like, I was trying to find yeah. this footage you were talking about. Well, it wasn't a footage. It was just a picture. Just put like Spider-Man costume right. and, leaked. And or what spider like has eyes that look like that? Like where? Yeah, you yeah. Think if about he had like spider spiders, costumes, have big like eyes. That. But they're not yeah, but eight like of them. <laughs> yeah, well, he could put. Yeah, if he'd put little ones. But then again, we'd bitch if that was in the movie. Why doesn't Why he have any have... mandibles? I want mandibles. Uh, he is as man spider. He yeah, gets mutated, and, and he's. And got... then he had him as uh, iron spider too, but only three for some reason. No the... mandibles. The in oh, his mouth. Oh, I thought. Yeah. Sorry, I thought we you have to explain you what a mandible extra is. Legs, yeah. <laughs> no, a no. man spider did. Yeah, he had mandibles. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's uh, but Man Spider. That's when he got six arms, and he's like, "Oh shit! Now I have to cure it even more." And they, and then he's like, "Oh fuck! Well now I'm completely an ugly spider." So, no. see, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing. Okay. All right, I'll throw some All out. Right, throw uh, some here's in. some news today, uh, Monday. What you got? Recording this. Um, everybody is in uproar about the Fine Brothers. 
Uh oh, what'd they do? Uh, if you guys are familiar with them, I, I wasn't really, but I guess I've seen some of their videos. Um, I guess they did the series of videos like uh, kids react to. Yeah, okay, uh, I've seen you know, those. Teens react yeah, to. Teen react to. My, my react kids to. love those. So I guess they have uh, trademarked uh, like kids react to, teens react to, and uh, they're going. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of unsure. Um, it's been a little bit mixed uh, exactly who they're going to go after. But, you know, that's sort of a thing. Like, I guess they've even sort of made comments, uh, like Ellen did a thing, where it's like kids react to something on her oh, show. Oh, so they're going to... And they're like, that's our thing. We oh, own God. that idea. Really? So, so is that, it's going to be like Trump trying to uh, trademark you're fired. Or yeah. Paris Hilton. Oh, yeah, it's hot. Yeah. yeah, that's hot. And I hot. guess they have actually successfully trademarked a few of those terms. Um, and uh, they had, like, you know, over 13 million subscribers on their youtube channel and uh it's like dropping dramatically Every, there's a big backlash well because people uh, don't like it when you do shit like that don't be a right an don't be an asshole. right and i guess they're i guess they're doing it in preparation they're going to be they were going to launch a new website uh called uh what was it uh, react world or something like that uh, I, uh. I think i mean i haven't really read the whole thing i just it's all it's all over reddit right now everybody's got their hmm. panties in a bunch but yeah it's hmm. kind of a, a dickish thing yeah that's like that dude that uh bought the drug company and then raised yeah them. yeah and then he went to jail yeah for what was it insider trading i think yeah, it was something. technically was it like i that. thought it was like, it was oh it was yeah something. yeah that's right yeah it was unrelated to drugs but yeah it just yeah the guy was, was just a douche that was karma that much totally so. took him out that's what happened right there yeah but Man, it's been a slow work uh, work week, a slow <laughs> a news it? week. It's yeah. uh, not a lot's happened. It's mm -hmm. uh, oh, but, oh, well, that's too bad. It's not terrible. No, uh, but I, I'm showing him the picture of the Spider Man costume. Um, well, but no one fake. dies. What else we got? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we need some uh, more people to die. Uh, we didn't cover this last time. Um, one of my favorite movies of last year uh what uh what we do in the shadows mm -hmm. oh, yeah. is getting a sequel called werewolves but it's w-e-r w-e apostrophe r-e <laughs> where we are wolves so, they're werewolves, so it's yeah. the word not swear wolves we're we, we, <laughs> Swear wolves. Yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not, we're we're not, wolves, not we're wolves. We're wolves. And this is, uh, <laughs> is it both the guys from uh, Flight of the Concords or is it just the, I thought uh, it was both of them. Yeah. I couldn't be wrong, but. Jermaine and. So. Uh, the other guy. I don't know. I, I don't know why I can only remember. Oh yeah, what about the the manager, uh, Reese, Reese Darby? I think his name is. He's another one. I don't know. Oh. He's not one of the main two, but he was like the. If you oh. if you're familiar with Flight of the Concord. No, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. What is Flight of the Concord? Tell me. Inform oh. me. Okay, yeah, that was kind of mm -hmm. the thing that brought those two guys to the attention of the Americas. Not my attention. The and uh, it was, they were like these, it's basically like New Zealand, uh, uh, New Zealand's version of Tenacious D, I guess, <laughs> okay. where they're like a couple of guys that are, you know, musicians and they play mm -hmm. coffee houses and stuff. They have a crazy All right, manager. I like Tenacious D. Christian Don't like Shaw New Zealand. Is, is uh, like a fanatical uh, fan. Uh, no one else everything. New Zealand gave us the Wiggles. I hate them. Mm. Well, I don't know why I'm doing this ad exec, but keep going. Sell it to me. Peter Jackson was not involved, oh, but he's oh. also from New Zealand. Well, I like him. Yeah, well, I like right. Peter Jackson. It's funny. It's really funny. It's got. It's sort of got some. Yeah, it's got some absurd. It's, it's yeah. It, it's absurd. It's fun. Not it's everybody else liked those Hobbit movies. I kind of liked them. They were pretty good. I don't know what their problems are. Yeah, I only saw the first two. I think I didn't like the second one. So well, I didn't what's wrong with the, the second one? one? So eh, you know the whole river barrel. I don't. It was. It was like that's a bunch in the of book. Stupid action sequences that like. It was a two-hour movie that had, like, 30 minutes of content in it. That whole barrel shit was in the or book. Actually, was it I almost three hours? Was, I don't think they got chased by orcs and elves well, saved them. Okay, yeah, I mean, they, the barrel scene, yeah, they could put it in there. It just didn't need to be 15 minutes long. Yeah, well, it's, it's a good point, but it's in the book. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well. So. Okay. Well. And then. Yeah. And all the other. Well. You know what? And I've never read The Hobbit. Uh, you know. So. Uh, I'm, I'm not comparing the movies to the book. I'm just looking at the movies as movies. I'm just saying you can't bitch about something that's in the book. Oh. Okay. Then well, you can't. Then you can't. But your complaint cannot be lodged with the movie and Peter Jackson. It has to be lodged with Tolkien. 
because oh. he wrote the book and but if he put that in the book. How many pages did the 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 river? It was probably like they escaped in barrels and went down the river. I don't know, but if you want, if you want, okay. But then there are like forty seven fucking pages of them singing songs. No, there you yeah, yeah. Well, there were some songs in the Hobbit movie. Yeah, right? I know, but they're like they're all laid out like yeah, in the book. I it's, That's why I couldn't. I get skipped through those parts. <laughs> yeah, it was just it was too dense, too or too much. Like I appreciate. The the robust mythology, but uh, I, I love the books. I, I've read them several times, all the Lord of the Rings mm. and the Hobbit. But when we get to those songs, I just skip the whole song, especially that Tom Bombadil one. He's oh, like yeah. dee 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 da da or some <laughs> bullshit like that, and I'm like, this is stupid. You yeah, sound like an idiot. I like Tom Bombadil in the book. Actually, I was disappointed he didn't appear in the movie. Well, yeah, I'm a little disappointed he didn't appear in the movie either. Yeah. He, he's not even in the extended cut, is he? No, I don't think not at all. Damn, I'm pretty. They sure. really. Yeah, because apparently he, he had a real a hot wife. Part of the or story, I thought. Well, so I think the only Star Wars news recently is that they're reaching, they're getting close to two billion oh, worldwide. Shit. So what do they got to get? Two point what? Oh, to I beat know. what Avatar? Yeah, is that still the leader, the king. Hail to the king, baby. Let's see. Hold on. How many times have you guys seen it? Just once a piece, still. Twice. No. I've only seen it once. I I absorbed it all in. Right. I, See, I didn't. I didn't have to be, you know, convinced it was a decent movie after the first time. <laughs> I went back. I still didn't think it was a decent movie. Most of my problems stood, <sighs> but I'm gonna tell you this: I almost cried at one point. Oh. Well. I I teared up, and I wasn't expecting it because last time I saw this same scene, I was so pissed off that I couldn't feel any other emotion other than <laughs> anger. Whenever oh. Ray comes up to the, on top of that mountain and she hands that lightsaber. And he turns around, and he pulls the hood down, and he just looks at her, and Please. she's handing him that lightsaber. Digital man. All the all, I my mom was with me, and she was like, "All I could talk about is how much I was like, I hate that the fucking movie sucks." And so she's sitting there like next to me, and all of a sudden I go, Arr! and she's like, she looks at me like, and I'm like, she's like, <laughs> and I'm like trying to not do it and like I don't know it was something about like well that's clearly that's Luke Skywalker but he looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi and she's handing him the saber oh, it's the God. saber from the first movie and I, I, I don't know what happened right. and there was well yeah I think we talked about that too his his expression well and it cut back oh, and shit. forth yeah. and you could see it like the dawning the like, only thing I didn't like yeah, is that, that circular helicopter shot that yeah, they did they should have like a little too they should have just stopped on his face when he looked yeah. up at her and not done that yeah, yeah, and then the, dun, dun, the weight dun, dun, of the dun, dun, universe. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Now, something that'll get you in the fills. Did you see any of those? Uh, I, I printed some of those, or not printed. I posted some of those uh, the fan done, uh, fan made uh, Star Wars strips. Did you ever see the one Chewbacca and yeah, and Ren? Yeah, it shows like it shows it's it's a, a fan done made. It's a comic strip, and the first thing it shows Han Solo with the baby. He goes. Hey Ren, this is your uncle Chewbacca, mm -hmm. and it shows like him like playing with the little Ren, and it shows Ren is like a teenager and he's having you know he's going through shit mm -hmm. and Chewbacca is trying to comfort him, and the last panels was where you see Ren run Han Solo through with the, the lightsaber, Chewbacca's got him just dead to rights like a headshot, and you see Chewbacca and he's got this look on his face and then he aims down to his side. Mm -hmm. so yeah, he, he looks sad you know, for a moment, then he and aims and he shoots him in the side. Have you seen? I posted it on my uh, page. It's uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber through a uh, a red solo cup, and it says <laughs> oh, too soon. soon. <laughs> <laughs> See, I liked I liked. Uh, uh, and spoilers, spoiler. Han Solo dies. Guys, spoiler, yeah. Um, God, uh, uh, was it Darth Ren and Darth Stimpy? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> No, it's Kylo, Kylo Ren and yeah, Kylo, Kylo Stimpy. Yeah, right. There's Ren. no Darths anymore. Yeah, apparently. Kylo Ren. Ky yes, he's not even a Darth yet. I mean, come on. I, well, I mean, big of a the threat Sith could he have been? is no it's more, It's got to be right? Darth. Well, yeah. no, because apparently this guy is training him to be a Sith. I mean. I don't know. Which I'm hearing there's there's so much speculation. Maybe it's Darth Vader. Maybe it's uh, no. Admiral. Who was the guy that blew up in the first Death Star? Uh Grand Moff Tarkin? Yeah, that's Grand Moff Tarkin. It's not Grand Moff Tarkin. He's a Force user. Well, I think maybe. it's a clone of Darth Vader is mine. I'm sticking with uh, the guy, If you, going back to the prequels, the guy who trained Palpatine. He mentioned he could, he learned how Pelagius. to be. Yeah. Darth Pelagius. I like that theory. That's my favorite. Theory. I'm still saying it's Jar Jar. 
<laughs> but I guess that wouldn't have, uh, you know, they said there were only two Siths or something. Uh, well, that's a that's a prequel thing. Okay. Yeah. So he a... could have been out there somewhere in the universe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or he could have been dead and like. It I took mean, a while if they're playing it like they did Star Wars, and I hate to say this, if they're doing it like they did Star Wars, you didn't know Darth Vader was the head of the food chain because Admiral. I keep it's Grand Moff Tarkin. Greg, I keep wanting to say Admiral Ackbar. That's <laughs> Grand, Grand Moff Tarkin. Well, it seemed like he was above Darth Vader. He didn't take Darth Vader's shit. Right, right. You know, and it turned out Vader was the head guy. So maybe this whole hologram. And, and well, all see, we ever Grand seen Moff him Tarkin in is a hologram. Head, was the head of the Death Star. That project was his. Which, yeah, but he called Vader off from killing guys. Yeah, well, Vader right. is bowing to him because Vader was sent in to find the plans. Uh, right, I was thinking, I mean, it's they're, it's, they're like different. But it's still, uh, it's Tarkin shows. Yeah. yeah, it's like, you know, there's like the military, uh, you know, imperial military. That's mm-hmm. the Tarkin, you know, he runs yeah. that stuff. And then there's like this elite special forces guy that comes in. Yeah. That's Vader. And you he's know. the, they lost the plans and they're like, uh oh. And yeah, but like, by, get him. by the second yeah. Death Star, though, Vader gets off that imperial shuttle and the guy about pisses himself. Right. Okay, he doesn't about piss well, himself. He just spent most of Empire Strikes Back killing every other guy <laughs> who made him mad. Right, yeah. I mean, and he tried to kill somebody that made him do. mad in A New Hope, and they wouldn't let him. Oh, God, what was it? It was, it was Empire. But I'd... see, that was, that was Vader's show. He was supposed to find Luke Skywalker. All those guys answered to Vader. On the Death Star, yeah. all those guys a- answered to Tarkin. Tarkin. Mm-hmm. I love the scene in the, the end of Empire Strikes Back where he's watching the shuttle get away. Oh, yeah. He turns around and everyone's like, "Oh shit!" I know the one guy. He like looks and he's, <laughs> he's and ready to be and killed. And I love it that Vader does a double take. He like looks, it jumps to light speed. He turns, <laughs> then he turns back. <laughs> like, oh shit! Then he just turns around and walks away. I love that. It's just like you can just see the plot process. Like, I have you now. God damn it! <laughs> What the fuck is <laughs> yeah. And then he uh, he goes and slashes some machinery in a room for a while. No, no, he doesn't. Show, he doesn't throw bitch fits. I know. That's not that's he not could. his style. He just chokes someone to death. I, I still say he's got a mute button on his outfit and he's just screaming and cursing and yelling. <laughs> he's just kind yeah. of muted. Have you seen? There's that cartoon where it's like like Kylo Ren's like saying, "I'll finish what you start, grandfather." And then these guys come in, he's like, "Kylo." He's like, "We found these historical data tapes about what about how your or how your grandfather became Darth Vader." And he's like, "Do you want to watch them?" And he's like, "Yes." <laughs> and then like he puts them in and you like see him looking there smiling and then he's just like his face drops. <laughs> and it's like episode 1 through 3. Yeah. And then he's just throwing all the Darth Vader shit down the trash. <laughs> Well, they go the whole. They keep doing that. It's like grandfather. I'll finish what you started. No, show Darth Vader. Go, yeah, you get on that. Let's see. My best friend cut off my legs and my arm. My my wife dies. Yeah, you you go ahead. You go ahead and work on that. Yeah, well, what was the other one? It shows a. Uh, it was cosplayers. It was uh, uh, Kylo Ren and Darth Vader. It goes sure. My best friend mutilated me. My wife died. My kids hate me. But my grandson thinks I'm the greatest. <laughs> oh, I had some friends go see uh, Dirty Grandpa. Okay. Uh, and they that said, looked interesting. They said it's more raunchier than Ted 2. Really? And I've yeah. not seen Ted 2. I have so. not seen, but I can imagine Ted 2. So. Yeah. yeah I don't know, man. I really w- I don't. What what's up? What why? <laughs> when is is uh, Robert De Niro just going to do this until he dies? Pretty is much. Is this all he's going to do now? Pretty much. He's well, just Well, didn't he do uh, uh, Meet the Fockers? Or yeah. Meet the Parents? Now all he does is he's dumb comedies. No. Yeah, he's got to be the Well, he did the uh, was it the family? Which What one? was it called? It was where it was him and uh crap, I can't remember. Uh Ben Stone. No, no, no. Oh, the the uh Oh, God, Basic Instinct, Catwoman. She was Michelle Pfeiffer was his wife. 
They're like in the witness protection program with their kids. Sharon, Pfeiffer yeah. wasn't in Sharon basic Stone instinct. Was in Sharon oh, Sharon Stone was in basic instinct. Okay, so okay, Catwoman, okay. I yeah. think it was Michelle uh, Pfeiffer. You're thinking of Scarface. But anyway, they're yeah, in per- Scarface. <laughs> yeah, well, they're in protective <laughs> services and someone comes after them or something. Oh, uh, witness protection? I thought it was called The Family is what I think I it was called. Oh, I do remember this because he's a mobster. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a comedy. I mean, it was yeah, uh, it, wait, it came and went with a whimper. Yeah, this was last year. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm... I can't convince. But yeah, he's talking, doing it for the paycheck now. Talking movies, yeah. I cannot convince my wife to go see Deadpool for Valentine's Day. Oh. But I may try for Zoolander too, oh, okay. because <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen the previews <laughs> for Zoolander too, and it looks really funny. Yeah. But it's no Deadpool. Come on. No, now. it's not any Deadpool. But I'm not going to be able to get her to so go what, to Deadpool. What you do is you, you make sure they're on at the same time, and then you go here's your ticket to Zoolander. I'm going to go Honey, see because that kid. I'm going to get you a refill on your drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been gone an awful long time. She probably will object more to going and seeing Zoolander. That might be how I make it work. I'm like, well, we can go see Deadpool. I don't want to see Deadpool. It's going to be all gory and nasty and gross. There's going to be bad language. It's like, well, there's Zoolander too. We could go see that. Well, maybe Deadpool's not so bad. <laughs> My wife is amped to see Deadpool. Nah, mine. We're seeing it on the twelfth. We'll probably go see the first showing. Because yeah, she's off that day. I can get that off. On board. So we're we going to come back, and you'll be like, I saw Deadpool. It was awesome. And you'll be like, Yeah, I saw Deadpool. And Matt, did you see it? No, I haven't seen it yet because I can't get away and I had to go see something else. Well, and Our son, our oldest, is 14 and he's doing the whole, well, so-and-so said his parents are taking him to see it. And so and my wife was going, well, do you think it's going to be that bad? And then I played her the clip where the girl was, I want you to stick it in my... <laughs> and Heather's like, no, no, you do not get to see <laughs> this movie. So, And I was even thinking, I've got two movie, I got two free movie passes. Mm-hmm. And I I was thinking about you know when mom's at work I accept. I could I could sneak him out of school oh, and take him to the movies oh. but he's been a little shit this week so I'm really Plus, you know what right. he's gonna do is he's yeah, gonna immediately we undermine so, oh, yeah. you the oh, first yeah. chance he gets oh my he does that too every chance I could be on the computer walk away. And we'll play a video, and they'll go we'll skip to the next video. Dad, what are you watching? It says so and so. No, these two chicks make out. I'm like what? So, and he yells it across the house. So the know. moment you're getting onto him, and he's like, "Yeah, well, you took me to Deadpool. Yeah, exactly. And that'll it's, happen. Oh, yeah. he'll do that. Oh yeah. And he'll because well, I know, know what Dad did for me. My kid's a little me. shit too, so I know how this goes. <laughs> yeah, Dad did this for me, and we need to have a discussion about trust, son. Yeah. No, we've had that discussion a few times. Oddly enough, after he got a uh, his own internet connection, his yeah. own devices. Did it. Yeah, considering how much you probably covered for him for things, uh, yeah. he could cover uh-huh. for me for a change. Mm. But uh, let's see. All right, well we're we're about an hour. We can wrap it. Okay, right. just real quick. AJ Styles had two matches in WWE. Yeah, I saw them both. Looking he good. He won both of them too. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> He's the new Golden Boy, huh? He beat Chris Jericho. Wait, he beat. Uh, is one there of the, someone named the... Golden Boy? No. But social a, outcast is that what they're called? Yeah, the social out. Uh, Curtis like, Axel. Okay, whatever. I don't like those guys, so. But uh, what they're saying now is the rumor is he's going to have a feud with Ke- Kevin Owen, like everybody does. No oh, fuck, I hate Kevin Owen. I know, but I'd almost rather him feud with Dolph Ziggler, and I don't like Dolph Ziggler either. <laughs> hey, Dolph Ziggler's got WWE movie coming out, so hey, whatever. All I right. don't know. Let me think. Who do I want him to feud with? Hmm. Mm. Ambrose. Ambrose would be a great. Yeah. AJ Styles and Dean Ambrose well, would be great. Have to go for a title sooner or later. That's who I want. That would be great. All right. Okay. We're wrapping her up. You guys ready for your Marvel trivia game? Yeah. Marvel trivia. Game. We don't have to get DC because that would be why? harder for us. Because <laughs> that those are ones we. Yeah, brought. I know. That's why I'm like, why? I don't or know anything you about DC. Know. Which team found Captain America frozen on a block of ice? Okay, I should say pre-movie because that'd be S.H.I.E.L.D. and blah, blah, blah. No, it's the Avengers Avengers. in the comics. What X team did Siren join and then eventually lead? X-Force. Absolutely. Which supervillain gets his powers from ten magic rings? The Mandarin. Mandarin. Name three of the five original members of the X-Men. Oh, shit. Beast, Iceman, uh, Marvel Girl, Cyclops... And Angel. All right. Last point, or uh, extra point, who was the first X-Man that he, in that group that he that uh, he recruited, who was the last to show up? 
in the original series. Let's put it that way. In the 60s. Cyclops was first. Okay, and? Iceman. Jean Grey was last. Because uh, in the original comics, she was coming, she was getting out of the That's cab. That's right. That was her first day there. And all the boys were getting boners, technically. Okay. Fuck, I forgot that. I thought it was Iceman because he was so young. Holy crap. How... Iceman's younger than all the rest now, of them. Here's one that's, here's the stumper. Here's the big question. How many issues of, of uh, Force Works were there in total? Holy shit. I barely <laughs> remember Force Works. I would say six. 30. I would say in the 30s. 30, yeah. Uh, Force Works was, you know, it's back in the 90s when everything had replace, to be extreme. This replaced Avengers West Coast, didn't Yes, it? all yeah. they did was cancel Avengers, and it was, it was Tony Stark's, you US know, we're, we're Agent, don't, Julia Carpenter, Scarlet Spider Witch, Man, Wonder Man. Man. Yeah, Wonder Man. It was just, it was freaking West it, Coast yeah, Avengers. Yeah, it was West Coast Avengers. All right. The Avengers, X-Force, the Mandarin, Cyclops, Beast, Iceman, Angel, and Marvel Girl. And 22. Oh, less than I thought. So didn't even make it two years. Damn. Hmm. So probably ended right after the, uh, oh, what was that called? Where Tony Stark died. Oh. um, Um, See, I was thinking. It was Avengers something. No, it didn't make it that long. After Onslaught. Didn't that that happen around that time period? Didn't they all get killed by Iron, Iron Man, Thor, Captain America and the Fantastic Four were all killed by Onslaught. Well, yeah, absorbed, but actually, no, he absorbed by Onslaught. Basically, punched him into another dimension or some other bullshit yeah. like that. So, so that then the Marvel, the Image guys could come back. Oh, speaking and do of which, terrible, real quick, books. Uh, I, I uh, told Matt it was the 24th anniversary. It's the 24th anniversary of Image today. Oh. Image launched. Wow! Happy birthday, yeah. Spawn! Yeah, and that's about. I, I don't think any of those books are worth anything. No, you know what? Yeah. I went. I, my wife wanted to go antiquing because she wanted to look for antiques. antiques. No, she was looking for a table of it. some kind. I don't know where she thought we could afford that. But so yeah. I, I went into these shops and I. How about we get the, a house to put this shit in well, first? Well, that's the thing. <laughs> we're, work, we're working on that, and see, I think that she's see, actually Matt, getting there. I, I hate to break it. You, you buy the house, then the furniture. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay. She's worried once we move in because we have so little shit now. That we won't have anything when we move in. Well, if you need a couple of concrete blocks and a piece of wood, I've got some. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, thank you. I can. That's that's. But anyway, that's what what, what did you find? You so, found a whole box of Young so Blood for a quarter. Every place we went, there were comic books, but they were all fucking <laughs> image comic mm-hmm. books. books from the nineties. It's the worthless. 90s. Now, boys and girls who may be younger than twenty four. And not up. Shit, I yeah. can't believe image hasn't years ago. existed forever. No, image started in ninety. Two apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah ninety-two. I was ago. in high school, twenty-four years ago, wow. and what it was was a group of artists was not happy with Marvel or DC mm-hmm. because whatever they they were uh, work for hire, whatever they created was owned by the main company. Is it, doesn't Image yeah. do this now though, or they did well, do it? They, we, so, they saw the fallout of not of Image not owning these things. Yes, really quickly. and what happened is that uh, seven artists. Can you name all seven artists? <laughs> Todd McFarlane. Yes. Jim Lee. Yes. Uh, Mark Silverstre. Rob, Rob Linfield, uh, Rob Liefeld, um, Eric Larson, and per start, I can never. He was uh, he did what works. Works, works, yeah. Per Pistachio, Pistachio. Uh, yeah, that one was like the latest Pistachio, one. That one came out like an, a year and a half late. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's know. only six. Uh, what about oh, uh, um, Sam is it Jay Keith? Lee? Was he among the? He wasn't. Among I think them. Jay Lee too. Yeah, Jay Lee because I think he did like the Chapel books and stuff. I can't. I think who it was did, seven, wasn't it? Seven? Who did Max? Sam oh, Keith. Keith. Sam Keith. Cam, Sam Keith, I think, was one of them, too. Okay, yeah. yeah. I know that was and one and the, the whole book. point was, was uh, you started your own. First, it was all image. They were all under the image manner. Yeah. And then they broke off into their own studios. Mm-hmm. And I then remember sent, Homage Studios. And then uh, and Top Cow. Studios, Top Cow. And then once once you, you owned your the character... Darkness. You could take your character wherever you wanted. You could say, I don't want your guys using my guys, and you know, you using my guys anymore, which really sucked because one of La- Rob Linfield's guys mm-hmm. was crucial to Spawn. He was the guy that killed Al Simmons. Chapel. Chapel. Oh, really? And, okay. and so when, when Rob Linfield said, Michael. screw you, I don't want you using him anymore, they had to recon it to make it yeah. a woman well, called Priest. Yeah, and huh. here's even worse. I didn't know that's is how that, that works. a Spawn villain, one of his main villains, Angela, yep. who's an angel, is now in the fucking Marvel universe. Because huh. Neil Graham owned it. 
Yeah. He, he created He created see, it. What what happened and I love wow. this. And they, everybody what you created you owned. That's yeah, right. What yeah. they did was, well, we got we want to own what we create. And then once they got their own companies like, "No, no, no, that's mine. You did it in my book, so it's mine." No. They I wanted to do what Marvel it. did. Yeah, they wanted to do exactly what Marvel right. did. And yeah. it went to court for a while for Angel. I remember back in the early days well, I mean, there, yeah, there were all those crossovers. I don't know. Do you guys know who created Pitt? Remember Pitt? P I T. Pitt was a Del Keon. He used to work on Hulk. Okay. That's why. So let's real yeah, quick. Mm -hmm. If you look at Spawn, Spawn had a mix of Batman and Spider Man. Spider Man books he had worked on before. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Max really looked like uh, his kind of yeah. like his Hulk, when his he, hulking monster. That and he did Wolverine yeah. a lot. And he did Wolverine. Mm -hmm. So you could see half yeah, of Young Blood. Half a young blood looked like the Avengers and X Men. Yeah. Shit. Okay, so Wild Pitt Cats was the X Men. Yeah, it was the X Men. So Pitt was this big hulking gray guy. Right. The artist who created him just took come off a huge run on the Hulk. Okay. <laughs> so you know. Yeah, he but, was. Yeah. Well, what I was getting to. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think it's like episode or issue six of the Max had a crossover with Pitt. Yeah. Where they fought. But then when the Max went to MTV, to have the cartoon on MTV, they replaced Pitt with like this shark, this random like shark character, <laughs> uh, because I guess they didn't have the rights yeah. to Well, this, that's what happened in the Spawn get, movie, too. Which I thought with, it was kind of, yeah, I didn't they understand use, it you know, yeah. back in the day, but like, yeah. And that's what it was. Obvious, they got uh, selfish with their, and then Jim Lee takes all his characters and goes to, to DC. The, to DC. So half, so there's all these DC character, or, or these, Wildstorm. Wild, the image characters in DC, there's image characters in Marvel. Yeah. Then there's image characters with image. <laughs> then they split off, and there's some other studio that's. Yeah. It's, it's nuts. It's all crazy. But let's wrap her up. All right. And remember when Negan crossed over from God Hates Astronauts into The Walking Dead? And, uh, I missed and, uh, that one. No, I don't remember that. <laughs> Okay, so uh, send all complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast.com. We're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash scramblebrainscast. You should like it. Yeah. That would be great. Why not? Do that. You're on Facebook, aren't you? Yeah. What the fuck? What else are you doing on there? Are you looking at cats videos? You can still look at cat videos, but... Are you posting those things Make where your you're time like, worth something by going and liking the Facebook. You know, like Matt goes to Brain concerts. Space. He doesn't film the concert. He sits back and enjoys it. Matt, do be like Matt. Matt's smart. Oh, really? God. Quit oh, yeah. That that was like a short-lived thing. That was a very short-lived yeah. thing. For mercifully short. Yes. <laughs> Good. Uh, we're also on Twitter, at ScrambleCast. Um, you could also go to iTunes. That would be a great thing. You that should was, do that. That yeah. would be the best thing you should do. Go to iTunes, subscribe, review. That might that even stuff. be the thing to lead with. That um, might be the best. Yeah, little, we should probably start with segments. that. Because I start with the send in the complaints. Which is probably that's because that's the most likely thing that's going to happen. I, maybe I don't know. I don't know. That's what it was. Uh, but if you don't go there, go to YouTube. You can go to YouTube and subscribe on there as well. We are on the YouTubes. Right, but we don't make videos. No, there's just a logo. But here, just but hey, all the great content that you find here yeah, is there. Yes, I've thought about doing the video thing, but we don't have room in here. Nobody wants to look at our ugly faces. I, yeah, that is, you know, you want video of some creepy guy's basement? As a, there you go. As hey, a, you can't see it through the tarps. Now, come on. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. The bodies are <laughs> totally hidden. As long as I don't turn on that light. Well, don't turn on that light. <laughs> yeah, don't turn on that light. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. But if you need, you know, if you can't find any of that stuff. You just, I can't find it. You've just pointed out to me, I cannot find it. Matt, you know, I want to go to iTunes, but I can't find it. You can't it. find it? Well, yeah. you know where you need to go then? www.scramblebrainscast.com. <gasps> Everything is there. There's a link to iTunes, the Scramble Brains page. It's right here. Facebook, I know. Twitter. Isn't that awesome? Yes. This is awesome. It's so easy. <laughs> but Matt, I don't have an Apple device. Um, you, uh, Good, I guess you shouldn't you don't have know. an Apple device. <laughs> fuck you and fuck Apple. You can also go to uh, tune in. Uh, you can uh, yeah, get us on uh, app. At, uh, what is that? Podcast, uh, podcast addict. addict. Podcast no. addict's a good that's, one. That's, that's our a, recommended. A lot uh, of uh, podcast compilers. Like, uh, not uh, Zune. We're not on Zune anymore. Are we still on Zune? As far as if Zune, if Zune if exists. Zune exists. We're there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Zune still exists. Yeah. What's the one we're not on anymore? There was one we're uh, not on anymore. Stitcher. Uh, Stitcher. Yeah, Stitcher. Stitcher. Yeah. We're not on Stitcher anymore, so if, so. You, if you like Stitcher, 
Uh, Tough fuck shit. you. Yeah. Uh, just well, go fuck go yourself. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I guess Don't, so. Nope. Hey. But yeah, double twist. Yeah, I mean, yep. we, they're all double twist too. is good too. But iTunes is the is the king. I'm it's actually I'm, I'm sad that I have stopped using double yes. twist because there were so many jokes about. Yes, yes right. Yes. Yeah, but podcast. Right. I've switched to podcast addict now. I prefer. It's great. It's yeah. I love podcast addict. It's, 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 it's good. You can like get in and modify settings. I don't know. I if know you've it's gone really that nice. Far, but yeah, yeah, I love the. It's really cool. All that stuff. All right, anyway, goodbye, Internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other.